Hey everybody, it's Rachel with Rachel Cheese Stitches and welcome to my channel. Today is Tuesday, July 19th, 2022 and this is floss tube number 69. 69, that is a good year. That is the year I was born. Um, so, yay! <laughs> Anyway, if you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. This is a channel mostly about cross stitch. Other times I will throw in some other stitchy goodness like quilting or crochet or uh, English paper piecing or anything like that. But for the most part, I talk about cross stitching and that is what we're going to talk about today. Um, if you're a returner, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate your returning. Um, it means a lot to me that you've come back. Um, and so, um, if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. I would appreciate it. So what have I been stitching? Um, this week I got a good bit done, not a whole lot. Um, many of you know, I'll work on whip go and then I have some other, um, projects that I'm working on on certain days of the month. And so that is what I got done. So the first thing I'm going to show you is, um, we are okay before i go on we are moving around my sewing room um we're moving it from a back bedroom into this room right here which is the formal dining room and so um things are kind of if you are kind of hectic it's messier than usual <laughs> i'm trying to organize my fabric back here hopefully i can get most of it in there but i don't think i will um and so this is what we're doing so everything is kind of Oh, so if I don't have a cover page to show you, that means I can't find the book. <laughs> I make working copies of everything and I don't always keep the pattern with the, um, in my project bag. So anyway, so let's, uh, my little disclaimer. So let's get back to stitching. The first thing I worked on is, um, Blackbird Designs stockings. I am working on the stockings in the home for the holidays book um there are five of them and this is a stocking number three i am using a 32 count even weave and because i'm using that i'm using one sulky thread so i'm just kind of using this as a little experiment to try out sulky threads and so far i really really like them so especially on this count fabric and only having to use one thread so this is what i got done right here i'm doing one thread a day every morning and so um, these I did, I think last time I showed it, I had most of this O done. So I did all this, maybe not, I'm not sure. But these are little Smyrna crosses right here. So those were pretty fun to do. And um, this is what I got done. I'm also working on this for my winter, my winter, my cross stitch camp piece for July, um, which is to finish something, to stitch something that will not be framed. So this will be a little stocking. So I decided since I was already working on these to use this as my piece. So this is what I got done. I'm really enjoying these. I enjoy working in monochromatic stuff. Um, you know, you can just stitch and you don't have to worry about what goes where. But um, the little Smyrna crosses kind of did <laughs> take a little bit extra time. But I enjoyed them. They were really, really fun. Okay. The next thing I worked on, this is a piece that originally I picked up at a thrift store. Um, it was partially complete. The lady um, had started it and with it, I picked up a bunch of um, other patterns that I'm assuming were hers because they were all lavender and lace. She, it was a whole kit. Um, she had swapped out the fabric though and started and used a 36, I hear my dog whimpering. I don't know if y'all hear him. A 36 count um linen which I don't like um especially since the color it was hard for me to see so I started it over on a 16 count Ada that I dyed myself so this is what I'm working on it is blue moon angel the whole kit was there I purchased it for five dollars um so it has all the charms the beads threads and the original fabric and then the fabric that she had started it on and so this is what I got done when I finished um, week before last, I think it was, I had stitched up to here and I had not filled in, you can see all the little gray stitches. Oh, I got some missing. Um, I had not filled all that in. So I filled all that in and I worked all of that, I think from here on up. Um, I spent two days on this. This is a whip go piece. And so I spent two days on it. My whip go goal is four days a month. And since I have two numbers, I do, I alternate weeks 
each one two days. So this is what I stitched this week. Um, like I said, I, I it has all the, the threads, but they're DMC numbers. So if I, I'm sure I'm going to run out of this maybe because, you know, she had already started stitching it. But um, anyway, these are really, really fun. I, I did not think that I would enjoy stitching. Of course, I haven't gotten to her face. And y'all know my complaints about my faces for when I was stitching the nativity. But um, I'm really enjoying stitching this one and then the one I'm going to show you later on. They're really fun. They're really good, fun stitches. I'm, you know, so I'm kind of looking um, at all of the old lavender lace. Like I said, I have several from um, this purchase from this thrift store. And then I, um, I'm kind of looking at the other mirror barriers and see what it is I might want to stitch next. <laughs> we will see. Anyway, I have a new start. I picked up my old um, Sunday stitches that I was doing last year. I don't think I did any this year. Maybe I did, but I don't remember. And so I did Blessed Assurance. Um, Cynthia Brew of Stitching in the Light um, showed that somebody had stitched this for her. And it was so pretty. And I knew I wanted to stitch it. Um, so I decided to pick these up and resume stitching them. I have all of them. I was in the club. So this is it right here. And this is what I got done. I am using, <coughs> excuse me, a 16 count Ada that I dyed myself. And I'm using the DMCs. And so that is what I got done. The DMC conversion is provided in each chart. Um, and I'm pretty much a DMC user. So you're going to see everything's <laughs> DMC or if it's kit floss. That's what I got done. I got the little, I'm assuming they're cherries. <laughs> and these little gold flowers. I still have, um, no, those are done. So... That's it right there. And then, is this the last thing? This is the last thing I stitched. This is going to be a short video. <coughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm still got a cough from the plague. I am stitching Princess Mirabilia. Princess Mirabilia. What am I saying? Princess Eliana by Mirabilia. This is on a, um, it's a purple, a lavender even weave. It's originally stitched on Will Chelt Linen, which I despise. Um, I am doing a conversion right here. This is the conversion I'm doing. I'm stitching this for my daughter. Her birthday is May 17th. So I pick it up the 17th of every month and stitch on it. But this, this month I did two days because I was having so much fun with it. I love the colors in this. Um, she came over and saw it and she's just the little bit I got done. She was like, oh my gosh, it's going to be so pretty. So that is it. I will link. Okay, so the lady that did this stitch, I got this off of the, um, it's the Nora Corbett Facebook group for conversions. And I'll link that group down below. And I will link her, I messaged her on um, Facebook. Um, I will link her Instagram page down below where she shows this. Um, and she does have on her Instagram page, uh, a link to several conversions that she did. And one of them is the, um, I know Shelly, Proverbs 31, 22, it had, showed it, I think, her video before last. And it's the bouquet, bouquet one. And she did it in jewel tones. And oh my goodness, it is gorgeous. Makes me want to do it. I just love the colors. So this is what I did. This is what I, I'm doing, <laughs> this conversion. But I'll link everything down below for you guys. And then this is what I got stitched right here. So when I started it um, this week, I had done all of this. And I'm doing beading last. And I had done this little gold doohickey right there. And then I did all of this right there. And I'm really, really enjoying this stitch. So you'll see that um, even though I just, she changed the, um, the blue. This part right here on the chart was originally the green and she changed it to blue. I just love the colors. It's so pretty. So that's it. That's what I stitched this week. Like I said, not a whole lot. <laughs> but um, anyway, so that is what I got done this week. Um, like I said, we are rearranging my sewing room around. Um, moving it from one room to the next. And um, hopefully uh, it'll get done this week. My husband goes back to school in two 
very short weeks and um, that's always a hard time for me because I get so used to him being home and I love him being home. And so um, the fact that he's going back, <laughs> but um, for those of you don't, uh, that are new, my husband is a high school chemistry and physics teacher. And um, he's been doing that for almost 30 years now. Doesn't look like he's gonna be retiring anytime soon. He really enjoys teaching. Um, so that's uh, that's my sadness is that he will be going back to school, but he's doing all this for me, him and my son. My oldest son are moving furniture around for me because I have my mom's hope chest, her weaving loom, her spinning wheel and all that in here. And it's going to go in the back bedroom for now until we can figure out where to put it. The weaving loom is absolutely, well, it's not huge, but it's, it's the size of a dresser. So it's a, it's a pretty big piece of furniture. Um, so anyway, so we're moving all that around and hopefully with it being in here, I'll get some more sewing done. But anyway, so, um, my plans for this week is I will be stitching, um, today's the 19th, so I'll be stitching on my mom's piece. I didn't bring that with me, and that is the Cherish piece. Um, and then I will try to, I am, oh, if, if I don't get, if I don't get some stitching done on my Jeanette Douglas bouquets, I will be two months behind instead of one month behind. And so I am going to, um, work on that this week. And then I will be working on Christmas Garden by Blackbird Design because that is a, a Whipco number that was called. So I'll be working on that. So those are the things I'll be working on this week. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to maybe show you what we did in this room. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be fully unpacked, um, but I'm hoping to maybe show you at least, at least a simple layout of what we get done. Um, I really think that's it. I bought some books, but I didn't bring them in here. I'm so unorganized today, guys. So you'll have to forgive my extremely short 15 minute video. <laughs> but um, I'm looking around for something that I bought that I wanted to show y'all. But like I said, I didn't bring anything in here. And so um, anyway, so that is all I have. I hope you all have a wonderful week and that you get some stitching done. And, um, you know, I, I know that some of you do have a YouTube channel, so I get to see what you're doing and some of y'all don't. Um, but if you have an Instagram where you share your, um, your stuff, if you want to email me your, um, or, or let me know on Instagram, Hey, I watch, this is my Instagram channel. This is my YouTube name. So I can kind of put um, the two of y'all together. I would love it if you did that, um, you know, and if you would want me to mind me showcasing what you've done. I know Jana Jabber does her friend of the week where she showcases stitching done by other stitchers who don't have YouTube channels or that other people might not be familiar with. And I'd love to do that. I would love to show off some of your work that you have done. Um, you know, just share with the world and so more people can look at your stitching because I know so many of y'all do fabulous things and a lot of y'all say that y'all do things, y'all stitch similar to me. And so, um, anyway, but that's it. That's all I have. So let me know down below if you have an, or if you don't mind showing it, just let me know down below in the comments if you have an Instagram, um, account and then that way we can all follow you and look at what you're doing and share in your, in your stitching along with you. So that is it. Y'all have a wonderful week and I will see you guys next week. Lord willing. Bye-bye.